What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Eric Castellano, and most of you know me for helping you grow massive Amazon wholesale businesses. Now, in this video series, we're going to be covering NFTs, how to purchase them, where to purchase them, what cryptocurrencies you need to purchase them, how to set up a wallet, all of that stuff that I've learned in the past couple months investing in NFT projects and being able to bring in tens of thousands of dollars in profit from doing so. Now, by all means, I'm not an NFT expert. Expert. I'm just sharing my experience, what I've learned in the past four to five months, so I can help you diversify your income streams, diversify your portfolio. I'm a firm believer that NFTs are going to be the future of wealth as well as cryptocurrency. So check it out. All right, so step number one, you need MetaMask. MetaMask is a wallet that you will connect to OpenSea and transfer funds from your Coinbase account to MetaMask. So the first thing we're gonna do is download MetaMask. So this is the Chrome extension and all the links are gonna be included at the bottom of this video. So we're gonna install for Chrome. I highly recommend when you first buy, start buying, selling, trading cryptocurrencies and NFTs, you do it on a desktop because doing it on a desktop is much more user friendly. It's gonna allow you to learn the platforms a little better opposed to making any mistakes on your cell phone. So I encourage you all to start with desktop and then move to trading, buying and selling cryptocurrencies and NFTs on your cell phone. We just downloaded the MetaMask Chrome extension. I'm gonna go over here, I'm going to pin it so it's up here, it's this cute little fox. And then if you don't have an account, you would create an account. So let's just pretend we didn't have one. I have one, I'll set that up after but I don't want to help improve MetaMask. You'd set a password, so let's just set a password real quick. You want to make sure this isn't a password that you use for other accounts. You want to make sure it's specific to this because you want to keep your NFTs and cryptocurrencies safe. So we're going to create it. You definitely want to watch this video. This is about securing your wallet with the secret recovery phase. So MetaMask is going to provide you a 12 word phrase that I encourage you write down somewhere safe, right? You don't email it to yourself. You don't text it to yourself. You don't take a picture of it and store it on your phone because if you were ever to get hacked or misplace your phone and someone has access to that 12 word phrase they could essentially boot up your metamask on their computer and start transferring your funds out of it into their own wallets transferring their your nfts out of your metamask into their own wallet so you want to protect this code i have it written down in two places and i keep it stored safe in those two places where nobody else has access to it and you don't want to write at the top metamask recovery phase because if anybody finds it they'll know exactly what it is but you want to store it in a safe place so you'd you'd log in create a password get your secret recovery phase stored in a safe place, and then you'll follow the next steps. So our MetaMask is now created. You wanna make sure you click this little puzzle piece and make sure this little pin is highlighted in blue so it's pinned to your Chrome extensions. And if we click on it, you could see a breakdown here is connected to the Ethereum mainnet, which is the network you will use to purchase NFTs on OpenSea. Here it has your balance. I have a half of Ethereum in here, which is about $1,800. You can see your activities. So now the next step you got to do is you got to purchase some cryptocurrency. So we're going to slide over here to Coinbase. And once again, all the links that I'm discussing are in the bottom here, Coinbase, MetaMask, OpenSea.io. They're all below. So Coinbase, you can either sign in or sign up. If you were going to sign up, you would simply click the sign up tab, put in your information, create a password, pick the state that you're in, and then you would connect uh, either your bank card or your bank account to this Coinbase account. And when you purchase cryptocurrency, it will be deducted from those accounts. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to be signing into my account. Now, when you're signing into your account, it's gonna ask for your authenticator app. Your authenticator app is an application you download on your cell phone. So I'm gonna to go to my authenticator app and pull up this code to log into my Coinbase account. 
So we'll click verify and then it will be all in um, my Coinbase account and I'll give you a little breakdown of what exactly it is you're looking at when you log in here. So initially you're gonna see your portfolio balance where if you're just getting started, it's zero. You could sort all the way back to the beginning of time and you could hover over here and see what your portfolio has been, your balance has been over the course of time. So you can see here that they also have the one year option, one month option, one week, 24 hours, and one hour. So now you can see some of the cryptocurrencies that Coinbase offers you to buy if you click on trade. So if you click on trade, this screen populates and they got all these cryptocurrencies that you could be purchasing. Um, now, in order to purchase NFTs, you need to buy Ethereum and transfer that to your MetaMask. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some Ethereum. Buying cryptocurrency on Coinbase is very straightforward. And now keep in mind, a lot of people, they don't understand. They see the price of Bitcoin, you know, right now at $54,000 or one Ethereum at $3,624, but they don't know that you can buy fractional percentages of Bitcoin and Ethereum or Cardano. You don't have to purchase the whole coin. You can purchase as much as you want. You can put $100 in or you can put $500 in or $1,000 or $10,000. doesn't matter. You don't have to purchase the whole coin to own a percentage of Bitcoin. So right now we're going to buy some Ethereum. So I'll just buy $100. I already got some in my account. I don't really need more than that. Let me just make sure my correct account is connected. Now, something I recommend, this is something that I do, is I make purchases on the 1st and 15th of every month. So I have an auto uh, deduction where on the 1st of the month, I put $300 into Bitcoin, $300 into Ethereum. And on the 15th of the month, I put $300 into Bitcoin and $300 into Ethereum. I wish I started that three years ago. Um, I only started a couple months ago. And it's, it's something I recommend. It's definitely something I recommend. I truly believe in the long-term uh, storage value of wealth in cryptocurrencies and NFTs. And that's why I'm creating this video for all of you, because a lot of you have asked a lot of questions and I want to be as informative as possible. So right now we're just going to do a one-time purchase and we are going to purchase uh, $100 in Ethereum. Now keep in mind that Coinbase charges a fee for their transaction. So the fee for this $100 is $2.99. Now, initially you should be purchasing between four dollars and $500 of Ethereum to transfer into your MetaMask, which I'll show you in a couple minutes, because that'll give you enough wiggle room and money to play with to purchase your first NFT, depending on what project you want to get into. So I'm going to click buy now. I'm going to buy this cryptocurrency. I'm going to get some Ethereum here. The transaction is processing, so we can view that transaction, which I encourage you always to explore whenever you're putting money anywhere. You want to understand what's happening. So here you can see that we bought Ethereum on October 7th, 0 0.02 Ethereum, and the total Ethereum that was added to our account was $97. Now, if you have a brand new Coinbase account, sometimes they put a reserve where you can't send any cryptocurrencies for seven days. So if that's the case, you wanna set up your Coinbase account, purchase that Ethereum, and then in seven days when you're able to send it to your MetaMask, then you'll be able to send it and follow the rest of this video. If you already have a Coinbase account, you can move forward purchase this and then you can send it to your MetaMask. So right now we're going to go back to our assets and you'll see my balance went up by a hundred bucks. And now what we need to do is transfer the Ethereum we just purchased to our MetaMask. So it's very simple. You're just going to click on the cute little fox at the top. You're going to copy your MetaMask wallet address, right? And then you're going to come back to Coinbase you're gonna click send and receive. You're going to wanna to paste the address in here. So that's great, right? So we instantly, this is, this is amazing. I'm glad this happened. So you'll see that once you paste your address in here, right? It said invalid email, phone number, or address. And the reason why I did is because the cryptocurrency I have selected is XRP, right? And Coinbase recognizes that the wallet address I put in is an Ethereum wallet address and not an XRP wallet address. So it won't let me proceed here, which is great, right? So you always want to be mindful of that. So what we're going to do is switch that to Ethereum and then we're going to re paste our wallet address in and we're going to put $100. Now, like I said, you should be purchasing four or $500 worth of Ethereum, transferring to that, that to your MetaMask account. So we're going to send it, everything checks out, wallet address, got Ethereum selected, 
we're going to click send and now they're charging me nine dollars and twenty cents to send this ethereum from coinbase to my metamask account so there is a fee whenever you're moving funds from wallets there's going to always be some sort of service fee for doing so so we're going to click send now bust out my authenticator app see what that code is uh let's do this so we got the code I click confirm and now it is done. It will take about 10 minutes to be transferred. Right now, if you go back to MetaMask, you can see if you click on the extension, right now I have $1,719 in my MetaMask account, which is half of one Ethereum. And any second now, we're going to be able to see that $100 being transferred into that account. The fund showed up. So 1813, and you could see in activity, we received $93.27 from our Coinbase transfer to our MetaMask, right? And now we're going to connect this MetaMask to our OpenSea. And now you need to connect your MetaMask to OpenSea. So you would wanna click on the wallet here and connect your wallet. So you click MetaMask and you can also connect it through creating a profile. So now our funds are available. You can see here we got $1,920 in USD, which is 0.53 Ethereum. So our funds have effectively been purchased on Coinbase, transferred to our MetaMask, and the MetaMask has been connected to OpenSea. Now we have the freedom to purchase NFT projects that we have interest in. So just a quick little breakdown of what happened in this video. Right, we went to MetaMask, we downloaded it, have it as a Chrome extension up here in the top right. We went to Coinbase, purchased Ethereum, copied our MetaMask wallet address, brought it back to Coinbase, click send and receive, sent the Ethereum that we purchased to our MetaMask. And then we hop into OpenSea and we connected our MetaMask wallet. So MetaMask is a wallet. It stores your goods. It's also where your NFTs will live. The NFTs you purchase will be stored in your MetaMask wallet. So that's all I'm gonna talk about in this video. I think this is a lot of information, especially if you're just getting started. In the following videos, I'm gonna talk about how I do research on NFT projects that I have interest in. And also we're gonna purchase some NFTs together. So check you in the next video. Take action on this immediately. Don't wait around. Don't say you'll do it tomorrow. Just do it, set it up. Put $500 in your Coinbase account, transfer to your MetaMask, connect your MetaMask to OpenSea, and bickety-bam, we'll check you in the next video. Have a beautiful day and stay lit.